Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about LUTs once again. So, uh, we did an episode a little while back introducing what a LUT was, a color lookup table. In this episode, we're going to look at specifically how to use a LUT for the DJI Spark. So what I ran across is this gentleman by the name of Franco out of Italy who's a professional videographer who actually works in the color grading industry if you will professionally and what he's done is he's come up with 20 different LUTs for the Spark and one of the things you want to do is uh, really apply the color grading or the LUT to the camera type that you're working with and so he's done this for the Spark and it's 15 bucks he's just a little guy doing this as a side business so I wanted to support him so again, I laid down the 15 bucks and purchased this. Uh, this is this is not an affiliate in any way. And what I want to do is share it with you guys because I'm really impressed with the LUT. So they come in. There's basically uh, four different series of LUT. And to kind of share them with you to kind of see, so you can see the difference, I've created four sets of collages. So what I've done is I've taken a, a one minute 40 second. A clip of a ship so we have blues we have skies we have the ship and the different colors and then I simply did a white balance on the main clip and then applied the LUTs and then I did a collage so there'll be four separate collages uh, that will run be will run through each one will be uh, about a minute 40 second long and when you watch the uh, the clip sorry the collage uh, starting in the upper uh, left hand side going down and then restarting at the upper right hand side going down will be the LUT and so you know some of them have different numbers of LUTs per series and so you can you know if you end up getting it you can see the references uh, there and the center one will always be the raw clip so you can watch the images on the side and compare it to the center image to see the difference in color grading I highly recommend you watch this in full screen view uh, to get the best effect so tell you what let's start it and again this is gonna run for about six minutes or so we have some nice music in the background and you can kind of see and I'll put subtitles on there and then we'll come back here at the end
Okay, so we're back. So hopefully you found this interesting uh, because one of the pieces to do this, I use PowerDirector 16. I'll have the link for this down below. Uh, this is a great program for the money. Runs on the PC, sorry, no Mac, but uh, definitely on the PC. It's a great uh, drone editing program. You can do LUTs, you can do the video collages, just like you've seen. All this was done in PowerDirector 16, so I have the link below for this. Uh, comes in you know several different configurations and packages, but hopefully under this whole thing you got to see uh, what you can really do with the Spark. Now this is this is rather impressive that uh, again we're not taking just you know 20 LUTs we, we got off the internet and trying to apply them. That these are professionally designed LUTs that match the Spark's camera. Uh, also, this guy's got uh, other different generalized aerial LUTs in uh, GoPro, and so I, I definitely suggest checking his stuff out. I'll have the link below. Um, so, anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, also, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Today was just back to the old bologna sandwich for me. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you got any lots for the Spark, the Unique, the Phantom, whatever, let me know in the comments below what LUT you're using or LUTs or if you have a particular favorite. Again, I want to build a, a page. I haven't quite done it yet as of this uh, uh, posting, but uh, it's coming uh, on the Video Drone website for various different LUTs and packages. So cheers and see you in the next video.